Oh, hey, King. I heard you were looking for an LPVO. We'll look no further. Oh, Dad's got you. Kings and queens, welcome back. You are watching 110 SAS Actual, high tier LPVO battle royale. We have gathered Schmidt Bender, we have Night Forest, Callus, Leupold, March, and Vortex, the absolute very best LPVOs on the market, gathered here for your viewing and informational pleasure. I will get your eyes behind the glass and get you an in-depth look at each optic and give to you, King, a virtual test drive of the glass on screen today. We're going to look at the durability of each optic, the one power eye box, and the field of view that it does display, the glass quality, brightness, clarity, and light gathering ability, the reticle, the turrets, the cost to your billfold, and overall value the optic adds to your kit and ability. So go on and click that little subscribe button. You've earned it, King. Now, a low-powered variable optic is a piece of kit that has a typical magnification range of 1 to 6, 1 to 8, and 1 to 10. LBVOs have exploded in popularity in the firearms community over the past few years, and for a great reason. It's an incredibly versatile optic. Run and gun with it, just like it's a red dot sight on one power magnification. Crank it up to max power magnification to PID and make much more precisely aimed shots. Today, our feature, the Night Force Attacker 1 to 8 power magnification. It's a first focal point optic with a 34 millimeter body tube diameter. Overall length, 10.1 inches. It weighs one pound, five ounces. It has a fixed parallax adjustment at 125 meters. Eye relief, 3.7 inches. It has a field of view on one power magnification of 96.1 feet at full power magnification, which is eight, is 13.1 feet. Right here, you have your illumination dial on top, of course, your elevation and then windage. Both windage and elevation are covered turrets, meaning they have caps on top that screw on and off very easily here. Now that the turrets are exposed, it shows 0.1 MRAD per click and change of point of impact for both elevation and windage. Engraved on both the body and the turrets, it gives you very simple instructions on which way you need to turn the turret to change your point of impact. Screw clockwise for up, counterclockwise for down. While not incredibly important, the turrets themselves don't have a very loud audible click to let you know that you have changed your point of impact, which I do find important sometimes, but it's not mandatory. The illumination dial here on the left side of the optic is very simple, very easy to use. You have your numbers one through 10. Simply select your desired brightness. The magnification dial is very stiff. You have to be extremely deliberate with your actions in order to change the magnification, which I'm sure is done on purpose so you don't move around with your kit and bump it out of place. One interesting feature of the Night Force Attacker is that it does have an adjustable diopter, but not just any adjustable diopter. It has a ring here in the front that you screw in and kind of lock it into place. That way it doesn't change on you. I do find this to be a very nice feature because sometimes moving around, the diopter can get hung up on your kit. And then when you go to point to shoot, well, it's not always in focus. This is a nice feature that not many LPVOs have. <laughs>
So here's the One Power Eye Box from a different point of view. First thing I'd like to note is how exceptionally bright the illumination is in the center dot. It's absolutely unparalleled. Very good job. The field of view on One Power, I must say, is a little tight at 96 feet. There is also, I'd like to note, a little bit of fisheye around the edges of the field of view vision. The glass itself is very crisp and very bright, but the fisheye is apparent. Moving into the eight power magnification, you can really start to see how stiff this magnification throw is. I can't even keep the camera on the lens because I have to really struggle to get it there. It's bouncing around on my tripod, but we do reveal the reticle on eight power, which I must say is a fantastic reticle. Very usable, very simple, very clean. There's a lot of information here, but it's neatly organized and I do like that. At max magnification, you do notice that it does get a little bit darker, but that's completely normal when you're at max magnification on any optic. It's just going to be darker than it is on the lowest magnification setting. Overall, the Night Force Attacker 1-8 is a phenomenal optic, hailed for its durability as well. It's $3,300 MSRP. Is it worth it? Well. You're gonna have to subscribe and see. We have six contestants in LPVO Battle Royale. We have Schmidt Bender, March, we have Leupold, Callus, Night Force, and Vortex. Which one is going to come on top? Which one is the best bang for your buck? King, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You aren't gonna wanna miss this series.